If you've been shopping around for an affordable, full suspension e-bike, you may have noticed that your options are relatively limited. There are models available, but compared to your choices that come with your standard hardtail frame, there are few and far between. Magicycle hopes to solve this shortage with their latest release that they describe as an SUV e-bike, the Magicycle Deer. Hey, look, Ed, a deer. Steady boy. Whoops. This new model comes with a front and rear suspension, a powerful motor, large battery, as well as an above average rear rack. However, this new bike seems to have an above average price tag as well. So I wanted to dive in the stats and features of this new bike and see if the deer is worth the cost. But before we get into that, I'd like to ask that if you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I'd certainly appreciate it. Maybe let me know what you think of this new Magicycle e-bike in the comments below. I'd definitely like to know what you guys think. Now let's get into it. It makes sense that the Magicycle Deer is described as an SUV e-bike since it looks like it was designed to fill the role of several different use cases. The bike comes in two different frame styles, high step and step through, with the standard 26 by 4 inch knobby fat tires and front and rear suspension. So it should be ultra smooth while commuting on paved roads or riding down bumpy dirt trails for fun. The Deer also comes in two different variations of the high step frame. A standard setup that they're calling the Touring version, which comes with the plastic fenders and a large rear rack, as well as a version that was designed for off-roading. This off-road version has the fenders, rear rack, and taillight removed. All three versions come in two striking color options, Dawn Yellow and Neon Green, but it's also available in your more traditional Space Gray option as well. The bright yellow and green aren't really the typical color choices that you'll find on an e-bike, so I welcome any color choices beyond the standard black, white, and gray variations that you find on most every other e-bike out there. However, I get the feeling that the gray option will probably be their most popular color. For the measurements of the frames, both the high step and the step through have a total length of almost 79 inches long and a wheelbase of 48 inches. The standover height for the high step is 32.7 inches from the ground and 16 inches on the step through. No matter what frame you go with, Magicycle indicates that the deer will accommodate a wide range of rider heights. 5 foot 5 inches for the low end of the scale, all the way up to 6 foot 8 inches tall for the high end. The deer lists a total weight capacity of 400 pounds, and the rear rack has a carry capacity of 150 pounds. These are the type of carry capacities that you'll find on your typical utility e-bike. So if you're looking for a bike that can haul some cargo, the Deer has that capability as well. The weight of the bike itself really stood out to me. The Deer weighs in just over 92 pounds, battery and all. Most e-bikes are around the 65 to 75 pound range, so having an e-bike that comes in over the 90 pound mark is notable. For comparison, the Ride Wagon 4, which is a large cargo e-bike, weighs in at just under 77 pounds total, a difference of almost 16 pounds less than the Deer. I suppose that is to be expected, and beggars can't be choosers. If you want a sturdy frame, big battery capacity, and the added comfort that a rear suspension is going to give you, it's going to all add up, and eventually you're going to get a heavy bike in the end. Other than the fenders, rear rack, and brake light, all three versions of the Deer seem to share the same overall components. It comes with a Magicycle branded 750 watt rear geared hub motor that peaks at 1100 watts and the motor's torque rating is listed at 96 newton meters, which should be more than enough to get you up most hills. The battery comes in at 52 volts, 20 amp hours, or 1,040 watt hours in capacity. I'm glad to see that Magicycle is continuing to use the 52 volt batteries on this new model, and I hope more e-bike companies will make the switch over to 52 volts over the standard 48. The amount of range that this bike will get you will of course vary, but Magicycle estimates that it'll get you around 80 plus miles. With the perfect conditions and this large battery, I could maybe see that happening, but I'd estimate something closer to 40 to 50 miles with pedal assist or 20 to 30 miles if you're riding throttle only. Range estimates are one of those things that are highly dependent on so many different variables that it's very difficult to get concrete numbers. Other than the e-bike's electrical systems pushing you forward, the Deer comes with the standard 7-speed Shimano drivetrain, 48-tooth chainring in the front, and a 14 to 28 tooth free wheel on the rear. Nice gear ratios for those that like to pedal. Magicycle gives you seven levels of pedal assist right out of the box, but allows the option to customize this through the settings in the display. You can bump this up to nine different levels of pedal assist or lower it down if you want fewer. 
The display itself is a large color screen with your typical readings of speed, trip mileage, odometer, pedal assist level, wattage power readout, and battery graphic and percentage reading. This interface allows the ability to unlock the bike from a class 2, 20 miles per hour speed that the bike comes with out of the box to a class 3, 28 mile per hour limit, though like the range, the actual top speed that you'll get will vary. Getting the deer to come to a stop should be easy since the bike comes with hydraulic disc brakes and 180 millimeter rotors. The brakes that Magicycle went with are manufactured by Bengal, which aren't the most well-known brand, but they should be a decent quality. Though given the price of the bike, I would have liked to see Tektro calipers instead, like they have on their Cruiser Pro model. Otherwise, the Deer comes with most of the standard components that you find on your typical e-bike today. A right-hand half-grip twist throttle, an adjustable seat and seat post, aluminum pedals, and faux leather grips. As well as your typical front headlight, nothing too spectacular, but it will certainly help drivers see you on the road. And if you get the touring version, a rear taillight. The off-road version doesn't come with a brake light. One nice thing about Magicycle e-bikes is that they come with a two-year warranty standard. This is double what many other e-bike manufacturers are providing. And according to the terms and conditions, the warranty is transferable to a new owner if you decide to sell your bike within that two-year time frame. Another big plus. Now for the feature that sets the deer apart from most other e-bikes in its class, the full suspension. The bike comes with the hydraulic forks on the front wheel with the typical tension adjustment and lockout, and a rear shock absorber. Magicycle designed this rear shock to be mostly tucked into the frame, so if you're not looking for it, you may not notice it's there. Most affordable slash economy e-bikes are hardtail, so having rear suspension really makes the deer stand out amongst other e-bikes, even from other bikes in Magicycle's lineup. For instance, if you compare the deer to Magicycle's most popular model, the Cruiser Pro, most stats match up pretty evenly or are exactly the same. Same battery, motor, and tires, same display, gearing, and brake setup. The only slight noticeable differences is that the Deer has 100 more watts of peak power and a higher weight capacity on the rear rack. So there's some variations between the two bikes, but they line up evenly for the most part. So that brings us to my main concern with the Deer, the price. You can order a Cruiser Pro right now through Magicycle for the sale price of $18.99, $21.99 regular. Or pick up the Touring version of the Deer, which is a near identical bike, except for the rear suspension, for $800 more at $26.99. That's quite the jump in price. No. Don't like that. I do realize that there's significantly more engineering and manufacturing to an e-bike that has a rear shock. If it was cheap, all other e-bike brands would be doing it also. So I can't fault Magicycle for setting a higher price. However, since there's such a big difference in the cost of these two bikes, it really boils down to how much do you really want or need the rear suspension. There are riders out there that, for whatever reason, just can't handle the bumps and turbulence of riding on hardtail bikes. If that's the case, then the Deer certainly is an attractive option especially since there are so few affordable e-bikes that come with this feature. But if it's more of a want than a need, the real question is whether it's worth the extra $800. Magicycle seems to put their bikes on a pretty standard discount rotation, so if you can pick up a deer for $300 off, then I would feel it'd be a much easier decision. Then it would be more in line with a competing e-bike, the Hemiway Cobra. The Cobra doesn't match up exactly to the deer, but has similar components. And the Cobra is normally priced at $23.99, $300 cheaper than the touring version of the deer. Another thing that caught my attention concerning the pricing of the Deer is that if you go with the off-road version, right now it's priced at $26.49, $50 less than the standard touring setup. Since the fender and rear rack aren't listed on the Magicycle website, I reached out to their customer service to ask if they plan on selling these in the future, maybe for those that have picked up the off-road version and then decide to add these parts later on. I was informed that they would indeed be selling them at some point and that they would be priced around $150. If that's the case, then the off-road version should be priced $100 lower than it's currently selling for. If you buy the Deer without the fenders and rear rack, you save yourself $50 over the model that comes with these included. But if you want to add those to the bike later on, you'd have to spend $150 down the line. So in my opinion, if you wanted the off-road version of the bike, it sounds like it would be a better option for you to simply buy the standard version of the Deer and remove the rear rack and fenders instead. Maybe they'll adjust this price later on, but as of right now, it doesn't seem worth the extra $50 savings. Besides this, there really aren't any other add-on accessories that you need to pick up with the Deer that would raise this base cost. I usually recommend a more comfortable seat or suspension seat post, but with the full suspension, that certainly isn't a necessity unless you want even more of a smooth ride. If you get the off-road version and plan to ride on city streets, I'd recommend getting a rechargeable tail light or something for visibility. So, all in all, is the Magicycle Deer worth the price? It has great components and features, and seems to be a solid bike, literally and figuratively. There's that word again, heavy. It's got a strong motor, lots of battery capacity, hydraulic brakes, a nice looking color display, 
good gearing, and of course the full suspension. Really most everything you'd want an affordable e-bike these days. But at the current asking price, the real question is, is whether it's actually affordable to you. I do hesitate to call the Deer an affordable e-bike since it's right on the border of what I would consider the price range between affordable and premium bikes. But regardless of what you choose to call it, the real question is whether you'd want to call it your own. I just wanted to make note that I'm not being paid by Magicycle for this review and I haven't been given a Deer to make it. I do have the standard affiliate link in the description of this video, so if you do plan on picking up a deer and click that link, you would help me make more videos like this one. Or if you give this video a like, subscribe, and maybe leave a comment down below, it helps out as well. Let me know your thoughts on the Magicycle deer and if you're considering picking one up. But otherwise, I thank you for watching and keep riding.